let's discuss about the lethal genes okay certain genes have the potential to cause the death of an organism okay this type of genes we call it an lethal genes okay it is first informed or observed by e balls okay in 1907 in 1907 and e ball is uh, proposed this hypothesis or identified this lethal genes and told that given the definition that certain uh, genes are lethal to the plants okay they lead to the death of the plants okay fine so so this lethal genes will have the lethal alleles and alleles which has the potential to cause death of an organism is known as a lethal alleles okay it is identified in snap dragon plants snap dragon plants that is in we call it an we call it an anti renum species so this anti renum species having the uh, recessive lethal gene recessive lethal genes okay so this anti renum species having the three types of plants one is a certain plants they are in the green colors okay so they are green plants with chlorophyll they are green plants with chlorophyll and they have the allele that is an dominant alleles that is an catalator c is an c okay certain plants they are yellowish green with carotenoids so certain snapdragon plants they are yellowish green with carotenoids okay so they are having the dominant one dominant allele one recessive allele okay so they will be the pale pale yellow color or pale green colors and aria plants okay so in case of aria plants so we will be having aria plants having the heterozygous that is an dominant allele one recessive allele okay so yellow is green plants with carotenoids they will be having one dominant allele one recessive allele okay the last one that is an white plants so this white plants without the chlorophyll it is a recessive it contains the recessive alleles okay the recessive alleles these are lethal to the plants lead to the death of the plants also okay how it is lethal to the plants let's see take this aria plant okay aria plants you will be having the allele is capital letter c and small letter c one dominant one recessive okay got it clear so when they are crossed when they are crossed okay these are a plant when it is in crossed so what will happen let's see what happens in the So look at this punnet square. When these are the plants that the hydrozygous is crossed, okay. So cell pollinators. How the F two generations will be? Look at this. So we are having this dominant, am I right? This dominant allele. So you know what type of plants it can form? That is an uh, green colors with the chlorophyll. This is an green color plants with the chlorophyll content. So this will be an yellow. Yellow is green. With carotenoids, this will be yellow is green with carotenoid. This is also yellow is green with carotenoid. This is a recessive, the recessive allele. So it forms a white, so white. Okay. So this will be green with chlorophyll. 
chlorophyll. Okay, this one yellow is green with keratinase. Okay, this is also same. This is also same. This one is in white, so without chlorophyll. Plant without. So it is completely recessive lethal gene. So recessive lethal allele. So it lead to the death of the plants because without the chloroplast, how the plants can prepare its own food? It is not possible. So it lead to the death of the plants. So this is we call it an uh, lethal gene expressions. So in case of lethal genes, an allele which is uh, having the potential to cause the de death of an organ. So, okay. So the gene is the lethal gene and the lethal gene is so that will lead to the death of an organism. If a lethal gene is there, that will cause the death to the organism. How it will cause the death to the organisms? You will just see the punnett spire here. Okay. So there are three types of plants are available in the snapdragon. Snapdragon plants. Okay. Uh, Antirrhinum species. So in that we have seen the first one is an uh, first type of plants that is an uh, green plants with the chlorophyll so it is having the dominant alleles then another type of plants is an uh, yellowish uh, green with carotenoids with carotenoids so one dominant allele one recessive allele the last one is the other type the last type of plant is that that is a plant without a without chloroplast so the last plants which is having the recessive genes these are all little gene okay this recessive little gene this recessive little gene can cause the death of an plants can cause the death of the plants so look at this recessive little alleles it's a small small letter cc okay so this this forms the plants without the chloroplast this forms the plant without the chloroplast the plant without the chloroplast cannot survive so automatically it will lead to the death of itself okay thank you for watching my channel and in the next session we will be discussing about that intergenic interaction in intergenic interactions we will be elaborately discussing about epistatic genes epistatic interactions okay the squash fruits we get the yellow colors okay green is yellow all these things how it is possible so that we will be discussing and next one is an polygenic inheritance kernel weeds okay polygenic inheritance both the things we will be discussing in the next session okay thank you bye